Hello my soccer universe to another collection video and this time we are looking into a German team Borussia Mönchengladbach and I'm aware I'm wearing Borussia Dortmund from the same season 1819 where Puma introduced quite some interesting stuff this one though is a little bit more standard I have to say um, I do remember this was the first Gladbach home jersey that I reviewed in one of my review video videos and um, if you watch that one you say you see me not very excited about that one give me six stars little did I know this will be my first and so far at this point <laughs> four years later still the only Gladbach jersey that I have in my collection it was kind of a little bit of a random thing that it went in there uh, it was part of I submitted once a really big order from classic football shirts. I think it was right around, uh, or was, was, was it right around Corona times or whatever. I ordered five shirts from them, all relatively cheap. Uh, and I just said, yeah, the shipping needs to be worthwhile. That, you know, offset the uh, cost of shipping. This was also before Brexit really came through. So it actually made sense. I had to make uh, different calculations. And so I got a really, really nice parcel together and part of it was yeah let's get another classic Bundesliga team in Borussia Mönchengladbach and this was a jersey that they had for a relatively decent price and my opinion obviously has changed because I actually started liking that shirt more than I thought and I would say let's look at a few more details although spoiler alert there are not too many but there's some interesting ones on there okay a little bit more up close i mean um it is a very clean looking gladbach shirt uh more or less how i remember gladbach mostly from the uh 90s they usually had kind of a, a clean shirt with a little bit green a little bit black and that's exactly what the shirt delivers it actually gives me kind of this 80s vibe with the stripe here and then just a little bit black in there i think this is actually something that i really enjoy about this shirt it makes it distinctively gladbach and I really like this. The one thing I don't like is how uh, Puma in that it's the same thing for the World Cup jersey. You have the collar that is then broken up here by the form by the you know the raglan cut and the form stripe here. This is something I actually would prefer it more if the collar would go over here and is not broken. You have the same problem here on the back. That's a little bit of an odd look on an otherwise really class looking jersey, I gotta say. Uh, alternatives yeah I don't I, I don't know I think if the green goes all the way through that would be enough maybe if there's another black line here uh, would have maybe accentuated the design a little bit more as well um, I always find it interesting that Gladbach is you know uh, by the logo they are more or less a black and white team uh, but they always have the green in there and of course this was also the period where they still had the postbank sponsor uh, the postal bank of course it was one of those where you always said, "Is this a great? Uh, this is a. It's a, it's a great thing sponsor in a way, but it also became synonymous in a way with Gladbach. I really don't like box sponsors, but then on the other side, a postal bank needs to be yellow, and it's exactly how the postal bank in Germany look looked like on that logo. So, I guess give and take. I would have preferred a black sponsor, to be honest with you, right here. I actually think if the postal bank would have been nice." uh take it here make this in green and then make that stripe in black but i understand corporate design blah 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 you you cannot always have it this way other than that very clean design love the sleeve cuffs i think overall it's a really really nice jersey um as i said that's the that sponsor is maybe a teeny bit off on the back we have the nickname the fallen the falls which is their nickname because uh when gladbach became big in the 70s they had all these young exciting players like Günther Netz and Bertie Vogts and so on uh that were young and this was kind of their identity and then my favorite feature of almost all Bundesliga shirts and not all of them sell it this way that there is kind of the team name in one way or another on the back I prefer it up here here this Mönchengladbach written on the bottom uh, yeah there should be a name set 
in a way to make this look a little bit better. But yeah, it's Mönchengladbach, uh, one of the longest names in international football. Uh, I'm always uh, funny when they end up in the Champions League, they have the full name on there and it's just mega, mega long. But then when you just say Gladbach, it is rather short, but Borussia, Mönchengladbach, it's pretty, pretty big. And most of the time you just read it as M apostrophe Gladbach. So, yeah. yeah. Of course, this is a replica jersey in Excel, uh, which has a kind of nice uh, loose, not, not a super loose, but, you know, a comfortable fit. Uh, the player version, of course, is much, 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 much tighter. Speaking, I said the names that is missing, uh, players that have been playing for club. I mean, it's not really the big uh, names, but we had uh, Florian Neuhauser, Jonas Hoffmann, Dennis Zakaria, Markus Ginter, Torgan Azar, and I think it was also the first uh, um, season of uh, Alisson player uh, playing for the club. The season was kind of a little bit of a resurgence for Gladbach, who have, were a little bit more midfield again after their resurgence in the early 2010s. Um, finishing fifth in the Bundesliga. However, it was a season that actually petered out. They were for a long time second place in the Bundesliga that season uh, in the first half. Um, then uh, kind of just before uh, halftime, they uh, uh, dropped into third. Borussia Mönchengladbach actually leading that league for a long time. Um, and then they were kind of in there and fell off towards the end of, of, the, of the season. It seemed like that they might hang on to a Champions League spot, which they had on the second to last day of the season. Um, after being then between uh, fifth, even sixth at, at some point, one of the last day of the season, Hoffenheim came, had a good resurgence and pipped them to the Champions League spot. So it was Europa League for them. There was no European competition for Gladbach that season. This was about to change. Um, and in the DFB Pokal, um, they had an, a rather hurtful exit at home to uh, Leverkusen, where they lost 5-0 at home in the second round. So yeah, I think overall a resurgence season for Gladbach ending in the Europa League, but uh, it promised to be a little bit more under coach uh, Dieter Hecking. Um, and yeah, he was then soon replaced with Marco Rose and then Gladbach had some really good seasons afterwards. So yeah, in a way, transition season for Gladbach. Any case, that's it for me. Please let me know what you think about this jersey. Do you have any Gladbach jerseys in your collection? Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and I will talk to you soon with more jerseys. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the little bell icon so that you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye!